everyone, so today we're going to be talking about all things crochet hooks. I'm hoping this video will be a great guide on the different kinds of crochet hooks there are out there and the different shapes of some of them. Some of them, the actual hook parts a little bit shaped differently than other ones. I'm hoping this is going to be helpful for you guys and just kind of a basic different hooks out there. I'm not going over every single crochet hook out there because there's so many out there, but I thought I would choose some of the most well-known crochet hooks and be able to tell you the difference between them and maybe you'll be able to find the crochet hook that would be perfect for you. So let's get started. I'm going to be talking about three different kinds of crochet hooks and these are all very similar with the shaping. I like a certain type of shape with my crochet hooks. There's kind of two different kinds out there. You may hear that people say there are the Susan Bates crochet hooks and there are the boy crochet hooks. These are the two most common crochet hooks out there. They are metal, they look very similar, but they have different heads. So what I mean by that is the Susan Bates, now this is not an actual Susan Bates, um, this is not an actual Susan Bates crochet hook but it has the similar head shape that they all have. And what I mean is you're going to see that with Susan Bates, it is slanted. They have actually cut off some of the little head part, so it's very smooth and slanted. And it is not curved, it is actually very straight, and then at the hook, it's straight down. And hopefully you guys can see that a little bit better. So that is kind of the different shape of this is a little bit pointier. And a lot of people I have noticed who crochet a little bit differently, they'll usually crochet like this, kind of like they're using a fork. A lot of times I've noticed a lot of people like the Susan Bates because it slides right down into their hook, the yarn does, and then it's very easy for them to crochet with. I have noticed that. Not saying every person who crochets like that uses this type of hook, but I have noticed a lot of them do. So this is kind of, I like to call it the Susan Bates. Susan Bates is not the only crochet hook that is shaped this way, but in my mind, I grew up with having those two Susan Bates and boy crochet hooks. I kind of put them in those two categories, even if it's not that brand. So a boy crochet hook is going to look like this. There is no shaved flat part to it, and it is just it is curved. There is no flat part to any of this hook. It is all curved and very, um, kind of the natural way this hook would have been taken shape if you carved it out of wood, in my mind. This one you'd have to shave down and make it more pointy and more smooth and straight. This one is more of kind of the natural state, I would say. So this is just kind of the other traditional type of shaped crochet hook, and this is actually a boy crochet hook. And you can find these at Walmart. This is actually the type of crochet hook I grew up with. I used these for the longest time. They are metal hooks, and they have a little bit of weight to them. They come in all the sizes you can think of out there, and you can find the majority of them at Walmart. They're only a few dollars. I believe they range to about two to, I think two to three, maybe even four dollars, depending on how big you go. But you can actually find the whole set from, I believe it's like size C to K, or size D to K. You can find that whole set for under $10 at Walmart. So if you're looking for a really nice beginner set, I would definitely recommend going with boy hooks. Or if you are more, into this type of crochet style. I'm not an absolute expert on this type of style, the Susan Bates style, so I cannot really recommend a great brand besides Susan Bates because Susan Bates is so similar to boy crochet hooks because I'm not familiar with using them, so I'm not going to recommend anything because since I have not personally used it. But boy hooks, if you like this type of shape and you're wanting a really nice beginner set, I would definitely recommend the boy ones. They're affordable. You can find them at Walmart, easy to find. You can have the whole set. So anytime you need to make anything, you already have the crochet hook. So I definitely would recommend these. The only thing I'd have to say is sometimes if you crochet for an extremely long time, Sometimes the metal can cause your hand to cramp up a little bit because it is, there's no flexibility to the metal hooks. So your hand may get a little bit 
sore if you've been doing it for a, like hours on end. But if you're just picking it up in the evenings for a couple hours, your hand won't hurt. But I'm more talking like a long hours, all day event type thing. Your hand might start to hurt. The next hook I'm going to be talking about in this one, you can buy at Hobby Lobby. It has the same type of style as the boy hooks. And this one is going to be longer than an actual boy hook. As you can see, they are different sizes, but you can see just the length difference. This one's definitely going to be longer in your hand, so you may notice it may feel a little bit different in your hand versus the boy hook. And this one's also plastic, so it's going to be lighter. It will have a little bit more of a flexibility to it compared to the metal hook because it is plastic. And the other nice thing I will say about it is since the actual handle is a little bit wider, it does make it really comfortable for your hand if you're going to be crocheting for a while. And it being longer, it does actually make your hand feel more rested on it because you can hold on more to the hook. So this is a nice hook. I am personally not a huge fan of plastic, plastic crochet hooks. I just find they're a little bit flimsy for my taste. They're not bad crochet hooks. I just personally don't reach for them very often. The only reason I have this hook is it's a certain size that's really hard to find and it's a seven millimeter. That size for some reason is really difficult to find, but I found it at Hobby Lobby. And these crochet hooks normally go for about three to four dollars. They come in all different types of sizes and different colors. Each, each hook is a different color for each different size. It is a nice crochet hook if you're looking for something longer and if you're looking for something lighter, because since it is, like I said, plastic, it does have a lighter feel to it. The last crochet hook I'm going to be talking about today is my personal favorite, and that is a clover hook. I really like this crochet hook because it's actually shorter than most crochet hooks. So if you look at a boy crochet hook and a clover crochet hook, you'll notice there's actually a little bit of length that's taken away. And it makes it very comfortable to hold in your hand. It also, the actual top of the hook is metal, while the rest of it is kind of a softer metal, almost kind of padded. And then where your thumb will sit, it is flat. So your thumb can sit there very comfortably. And so the whole hook can actually stay very comfortably in your hand. The actual act of crocheting, you would think it'd be kind of weird because it's a little bit shorter, but actually makes it more comfortable, I find. And I can crochet a lot longer with a clover hook than I can with any other hook that I've used. And I don't know if it's just because it is shorter, so your hand's actually grabbing onto the entire thing, or if it is because of this padding here, because it is a little bit padded. I don't know what it is, but I definitely have to say clover hooks, I can crochet for hours on end and my hand never hurts, my wrist never hurts, nothing like that. And like I said, that doesn't happen with any other crochet hook. So clover happens to be a little more expensive. Each hook ranges from about $7 to $11. So after you get past size J, from, G, from K on, they're actually all plastic tops. The This part right here is not metal, it's plastic, which means they'll be a little bit cheaper because the bigger the size you get, the more expensive they get. But once you reach K, they actually kind of stay at a similar price because since they're plastic, they're not as expensive. So I don't find them being plastic up top doesn't really bother me. Like I like with just a normal whole all plastic hook for some reason. It just doesn't bother me as much, but I still like the metal. I prefer it. it's a very smooth whenever the yarn goes across a metal hook. I just find it a little bit more smooth than plastic. So like I said, clover is a little bit more expensive. There is an option, which is a very expensive initial purchase. But if you're, if you're planning on keeping these hooks for your whole life, then it really is not expensive in the long run. So they have a kit. So this kit is from size B to J. The bulk set is about $75 to $80. I found it on Amazon for $85, which I don't remember ever being that expensive. I happened to get, I got mine at Joanne Fabrics, and what I did was I got a coupon for 50% off a regular priced item and used it on the set. So it ended up being about $40 whenever I bought it. 
So it is a very expensive initial purchase. I would really encourage you if that's the route you would like to go, I would look at Joanne Fabrics and see if you can find a good coupon. They always have coupons. So I would definitely look into it, especially if you can use it on it. But so the set is pretty expensive. The initial purchase is expensive. But if you're planning a crocheting for a really long time, it actually works out really well in the end because each clover hook is about seven to $11. That can get pretty expensive after a while so actually doing the initial purchase it comes out being better by just buying the whole set rather than buying each individual hook now that being said I would recommend buying one clover hook to make sure you like it before you go buy the set because like I said, everybody has different preferences my sister used to use clover hooks and now she really likes metal hooks my mom and I, we love clover hooks. We've used different hooks all throughout the years, but we've really come to really love clover hooks. I own a whole set of boy crochet hooks and I also own a whole set of clover crochet hooks. I would use both. I prefer one over the other. It's all about preference. I'm not saying clover is the best. Everybody should buy clover. I personally love it, but there, like I said, there's other ones out there that are really good, especially if you're a beginner crochet. I would say probably buy the boy set and see how much you love crocheting. If you find your hand really starts to hurt, maybe pick up a clover one and see how it works for you. Or if you find another crochet hook, maybe you found one that I know boy has some that actually have a padded bottom and so you could always try that one. I'm just saying I have found Clover to be really comfortable, really great quality, and they've held up, like I said, really well. I've had my set for about, I believe, three years. It's held up really well, they're super comfortable, and it was worth it to me in the end for the actual purchase. Whatever one you choose, I hope you choose the one that's going to work out best for you. I just want to put this out there so you know that there's options out there. There's not just Susan Bates and Boy out there, or there's not just Susan Bates and um, another brand you've seen at Joanne's. I want you to know that there's other options out there, and you should find the one that works best for you. I would definitely recommend the Clover ones, but if you maybe can't afford the Clover ones, I recommend the Boy ones. Those are also really awesome. If you want to give the plastic hooks a go, I would say try out the Hobby Lobby ones. They're not bad. They're pretty cheap, and you might as well see that, like I said, they're more lightweight than any other hook you'll be able to find. But yes, I hope you found this video helpful and it kind of maybe helped you see there's different options out there and maybe you found a crochet hook that you wanted to try. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorite crochet hook is. I would love to know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!